it's about Gosh, finally the show starting. I'm sorry, I'm a diva. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't have my all white flowers upstairs like JLo likes, so I threw a tantrum. I'm sorry. What do you, how are you guys, Lincoln City? Sorry. Seattle. I love, uh, it's like a mini road trip, right? Mm -hmm. You guys like road trips? Oh, yeah. Ladies, you? Yeah, absolutely. You? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> a little, yeah. yeah Anytime we get. There you go. <laughs> well, go cool too. I love it. <laughs> um, come up on stage with me. Um, no, I do. I love it. She will. I know you're going to come up later. Uh, wait till I see what I plan for you. Um, <laughs> I do, I love road trips, but I think the only thing I don't like about them is that when I'm ordering through food through a drive-thru, I have to use my drive-thru voice, because I can't use this one, right? <laughs> like, people get, they get confused, like they don't, it doesn't matter how many cars, if there's ten or there's one, like, you know, I get up to the speaker and I'm like, Ah, uh, yes. I like a number two with a medium fry and a medium Coke. Because if I don't use that voice, they're, they're just looking at me. They're, they're starting to count the cars in the drive-thru. It's horrible. It's, it's enough to mess with them. I talk higher like that's possible. Like the dolphins. Yeah, I do. But I mean, even like going to, what's the, Kentucky Fried Chicken slash Muchas Gracias slash Oscars, like it's been five different restaurants since I've visited in a year and a half, right? But there's never more than one car in that drive through is there? Have you seen one? You haven't, no. I'm, it's like being on a bicycle. They're it's like, like being on a bicycle. So I order, you know, with my drive through voice, like a breakfast burrito, and when I get up to the front, to the window, and he's just looking at me. Oh. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Did you order breakfast, carne, salsa, burrito? Sir? Like, really? Come on. It's only you and I here. I think he does the window, cooks it. There's only one person in there doing everything. Oh my God, love it. Love Oscar. What is it now? It's something else. La Playa. La Playa. La Playa. La Playa. La Playa? Okay. Good. Has it changed in the last Are we placing bets? How is putting bets together? How long is it going to La Playa? Long and long, they stay there forever, right? It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's got a special tax rate. It's been there forever. I know, I know. And traffic here, people. What's going on with the traffic in this tiny, tiny little town with two lanes? We have more than one lane. Yeah, traffic can get bad. But here, I mean, at certain times of the day, it's horrible. You have to really plan your day out, don't you? I, just a lot of left turns. Plan your left turns. Plan them in advance. We need to make a song about that. Left turns and we can sing. But, <laughs> but even like going downtown, like where Maxwell's is, where there's like 25 crosswalks out of there, like there's a lot of crosswalks. Like a lot of dumb tourists are, I guess, coming here and everybody's shopping and you know, and driving, it's almost like Frogger. Do you remember Frogger? <laughs> it's just right? like where you're turning your right and then left and you know, and you would think that these tourists could walk across a crosswalk, right? We've, we've been taught that since grade school. Now we have the internet. But no, everybody's just walking across. Nobody's looking both ways. You know, it's, you got to up your insurance here. I tell you, it's dangerous downtown by Maxwell's. It really, really is. You know, not even the traffic, but, you know, also, it depends on where you live. Things aren't, aren't convenient, like a convenience store. Like, you know, I go and I stay with my mom, and the next morning she's like, oh, John, 
sorry, but I'm gonna need you to go to the store and get some eggs. And as she's saying that she's handing me a bottle of water and a protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> How long should I be gone? I need to replenish <laughs> my fluids and my yeah, protein. It's it's totally, totally insane. Um, what else have I got? You guys are a good audience. You're throwing me. It's throwing me. Um, getting older? Ugh. Oh my gosh, right? Did I just bring a big downer to this <laughs> My legs vibrating already. I'm just like, really? Do I need to wake up with a weird pain? And, you know? But I'm getting up there. Like, like Oprah says, every decade gets better and better. Do you shaking her head? No. It doesn't do anything. It just doesn't. Just nothing to really look forward to. The pain level. The pain level. Maybe you start to get number. You just got the nerves. Like you just, you're just numb. Like a head. Just and a you head with nerves. Go to the bathroom all night long. Oh, <laughs> right? I'm like looking at diapers. Like they got those slim ones now that like Lisa Renna wears and yeah. can put under your dress. Just, I like to relax. Like I don't want to. Like the woman asked that fell over the astronaut that drove across country that just wore the diaper. Do you remember that years ago? I just want to relax too. I don't need to. Like I, I don't even wear laces on my shoes anymore. I'm so lazy. Like, I just want spandex. Like, I'm waiting for the gap to put some spandex in pants. Yeah, like the slim 40-something pants is what I'm looking for. That's crazy. I am. You just can't, or a little crack, or if it's too high, it's a mom jean, and I'm a guy, and it's and there's boys. I'm like, no, I can't. It's just too much. It is, and I'm trying to like exercise, like I think about it, but that's really, as far as it goes, like walking up to the stage was probably the most cardio I've had this weekend, you know? And I, and I try to eat good, I try to eat healthy, like, you know, I tried kale. Have we eaten kale already? You like kale. How do you cook your kale? Because oh, I can't, it's we like a wheat. Grind it in a smoothie. Yeah. I mean, you have to find, like, I want the little stone thing. <laughs> I want the powder. There is how I want kale. <laughs> blow it in my salad, blow it in my face. I can't, I roast it, I cut it up, I can't, I get this little texture. It's caught in my teeth worse than spinach. <laughs> and my teeth getting older. It, did your teeth widen like the space in between? <laughs> Like all of a sudden, I'm looking for a toothpick all the time. Like I can't get the butter. Butter gets hot. In my teeth. What's going on with my body? I don't know who said 40s like the new 30, but I want to see what they look like now. Not good. Not good. So millennials, are you guys millennials? Kind of. Like you remember, did you have life before the internet? Oh yes. Oh you oh, did. Yes. You guys look good. We had Pac-Man. Yeah. Okay, and Pac-Man. Oh, Pac Pac well, they got that arcade that has all the old games here, right? Not old. Where are they? The old, <laughs> the retro vintage games. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling myself retro. <laughs> game over. Game over. Yes. So they've got that, yeah. Do you meet, how do you meet people? Do you just go to Maxwell's or is there like, how did you guys, how did you two meet? Do you meet on an app? Did you high meet? School. High school. High school sweethearts. Well, middle school, if you yeah. want to go crazy. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have any hair on your bodies. Like, that's crazy. He did. Except he did. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he he's, came he's, out of the womb, Harry. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, man. Quite a long time. That's a long time. Yeah, it's a lot. It's taking quite a lot for us. My imagination's going. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I met my partner on Match.com, 
And it was before the app age. Like, have you seen these apps and dating apps where they don't even ask questions anymore, right? Swipe, it's just, swipe, swipe. It, there you go. It's just swipe, <laughs> swipe. Well, we did it where you had to log on to match. And, you know, I mean, you had to find your, your perfect beverage because you're going to be in front of your computer for a while <laughs> with how we had to do it. To answer emails because that's always fun. Um, and, you know, I was on it for a while. He was on it two weeks. Oh. Two weeks. He got a refund. Oh. Okay? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm stalking it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's doing really well. So, you know, one day he, I don't know, well, poked me, winked at me, I don't know what the kids are calling it these days. But we decided to go. We were going on a date, and we were exchanging emails. And, you know, he said to me, he's like, John, should we talk before our date? And I thought, okay, you know, that's, that's good. Okay, sure. So we get on the phone, and I have to use my drive through voice. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to date a boy, and I have to sound like one. So, so we were on, <laughs> on the phone. I know, my life is still living hell, and a diva on top of that, too. So, so. Um, <laughs> so I'm, we're on the phone, and he says, you know, John, I just want to be honest with you. You know, I really like your emails and all the things you're saying in your pictures are so, so cute. <laughs> and I just want to be honest with you. You know, I'm not out with my family and some of my friends, and I just want to be honest. And I was like, ladies, a guy wants to be honest? What? <laughs> I found a unicorn! I did! <laughs> I was like, Where's my favorite chair? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, she's honest. And I said, you know, that is so... That is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. And I said, I know, I know. And I said, you know, since we're being honest, I need to be honest with you. I'm really, really, really gay. <laughs> and I will out you whether I whether I speak or not. Like I do. We need to wave the, the rainbow flag. It's coming. It's coming. It really is. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have such a fun show for you planned tonight. So much fun. So I'm John with Your Reality Recaps, and what that is, is our website, and we do comedic riffs on reality shows like The Housewives, and Big Brother, and Survivor, and so we're actually live streaming it to over 2,500 people live right now, and they're in the chat room, and they're talking, so I want you guys all together to give them a welcome. I want you to say, why are our rocks? Can we do that? Yes. All right. On the count of three, one, two, three. Wow! Awesome! Hey everyone watching! Yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun show. I'm going to bring up the rest of my crew. They are hilarious. Jennifer, Aaron, and Amanda, get up here, please. Suggestion. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. All right, that's why we're married. Uh, we're going to take a suggestion tonight uh, in, in this first kind of set of scenes, and we're going to do a couple of monologues. Are we going to make it up on the spot? Yes. Oh. Well, the monologues will be real, so okay. we're going to take a suggestion and do some real monologues, and then from the monologues, uh, we'll just be doing some open scenes based on that information. All completely made up, 
You'll see it now, and you'll never see it ever again. <laughs> um, so can I get something unique to Lincoln City? Floats. Finders keepers. Yeah. I heard floats. Same so, yeah. thing. Finders keepers floats. Same thing. Finders keepers floats. OK. <laughs> Uh, we don't know what that is, but we're going <laughs> to figure it out. There's a beach behind the clothes on the beach. There are these. Oh. And you have to find them. The Finders Keepers program is you go searching on the beach, and you find a float, and hooray. And you take it home. It's a thing to you do. Win. Okay. The, the, awesome. You win. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you. That's the float fun. fairies hide them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the float fairies. That's cool. Oh. That's cool. John would have been a great float fairy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so monologues based on that information that you just gave to us, which you described the floats and the float fairies. Um, you, you were talking about finders keepers, and uh, when uh, I was in middle school, uh, I was real stupid. Um, and I haven't gotten much more intelligent over the years, but uh, me and my friends just did stupid things. We had these really stupid games that we would play, like, uh, for instance, one was called Casper. And if you were playing Casper with somebody, you would say, uh, oh, who's, uh, whatever they were holding, I know, whose record is that? Oh, it's mine, Casper's. If they didn't say Casper, then you got to keep the record. And so, yeah, yeah, it was real stupid. Um, and, but my favorite game we, we played was a game called Spondoodly. <laughs> and so Spondoodly was pretty much, if you were playing Spondoodly with your friend, again, whatever they were holding, if you walked up to them and you slapped it out of their hand and yelled Spondoodly, you got to keep it. So I had like a locker full of hacky sacks and like, because uh, I'm old, and uh, and like uh, sometimes like my friend's homework and stuff like that. Um, but I was always the nice guy, so especially I always gave it back. I just hung on to it for a few days. Uh, so you were talking about the beach and the floaters. I grew up in Florida, um, uh, in Fort Lauderdale, and we lived really close to the beach. We I, we go a lot, but I hated it because I hate sand. It gets everywhere. It gets in your armpits. It gets just every crevice you have, it gets there, and I don't like it. <laughs> but um, it, people, like tourists would come, and they would just like litter because they're gross tourists. Um, and so like my I, I was very uh, ecologically conscious as a child, and I was like, this isn't right, Dad, this isn't right. And so I would go and just pick up the trash. And so that is my version of the finder's key. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at this banana peel I found. You know, you know whose trash this is, right? It's yours, David. But I'm going to be big one day, so this banana peel is going to be worth something. One day, it's going to be worth something, Mom. David, I think that you probably need to have a little bit more uh, grander ideas of what you want to do with your life. Like, a career that you can really fall back on. Okay. Um, like an actor. No. Okay. Definitely not an actor. <laughs> like, maybe a manager at Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. You can work at a Starbucks anywhere <coughs> in this country, and they're always looking for managers. Ooh. Okay. Well, how about how about a singer? Oh God, no. No. Oh, God, no. Mom, but I I'm artistic. I need to express who I am, and I can't do that at Starbucks. Well, maybe you could. Maybe you could be the singing Starbucks acting barista. Mm -hmm. You're on to something, Mom. Maybe I could be the singing, acting barista. Later in life. <laughs> Welcome to Clown College. Oh. Hey, thank you. I'm so oh, excited oh, to be oh, here. That's your orientation. <laughs> oh, yay. I hope to take these skills just to let you know because I'm going to open my own coffee shop one day. Yeah. Whoa, big dreamer there. Yeah, I know, right? All right. First lesson is juggling. OK. All right. Uh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Uh, Boppo. I, I love that you have a name tag for your clown outfit. That's awesome. That's my given name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a message. Uh, hey, Amanda. This is uh, Doug. Ooh. Yeah, I saw your profile online. <laughs> Thought I'd give you a voice message through your computer. So I'm really crappy at giving voice messages. Um, here's a little bit of something about myself. Um, I like to um, 
Uh, I like to take things from other people. Ah, I shouldn't say that. Hey, yeah. erase, erase that, erase that, erase that. Okay, it's erased. Erase that from your mind. Um, yeah, so no, I like to uh, plant things in people's houses. No, no, you're so stupid. You're so, in this message, you're such an idiot. Uh, sorry about that, Amanda. I was just talking to myself. That wasn't for you. Anyway, I hope you'll pick me. What? <laughs> he sounds like a keeper. <laughs> You've got another message. Oh, great. Go, hey, Siri. Hey, Amanda. Uh, my name's Ted. Um, just thought I'd leave you a message. I was playing Pokemon and uh, thought, well, since I was online anyway, I'd go ahead and see what you're up to. Uh, a little about me, if you're interested. Uh, like World of Warcraft. Um, oh, 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 I have issue 300 of Amazing Spider-Man, the first appearance of Venom. That's cool. Um, my mom makes me fish sticks every day. Um, and I have my own basement all to myself. So it's, like, it's, it's like a separate house. So like if you, if you ever wanted to make out, we could, and I, and I like tongue. I, I hope that's not too much. I'm just a very forward person. I like tongue and... Uh, and uh, I prefer Xbox One over PS4. Hey, yes, uh, ping me if you want to. Uh, uh, nerd time at 69.com. <laughs> wow. He sounds super cultured. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey, Amanda, it's Doug again. Uh, hey, I wasn't being honest with how my voice sounds. <laughs> my name is John. John. My name is John Richardson. <laughs> Well, you got every right to be nervous there, Tina. Why are you screaming? I'm not screaming. I can't help. Are you going to make fun of my voice? Nothing I knew about it. No, Mr. Martinez. I was born this way. Listen, Tina, here's the thing. Driving a car is a big responsibility. I know that. I want, I want the responsibility. I want to be able to go out with my friends. Right, but you can't be nervous if you're going to be driving a car, because if you're nervous all the time, there's times you're going to have to make decisions and things are going to happen when traffic goes out in front of you. All right? I didn't understand, actually, what you just said. <laughs> I was all ran together like you had been drinking. I haven't had anything to drink this morning, I'm <laughs> except a cup of coffee, all right? Well, I just don't understand why we're practicing me going through the drive through Well, going through the drive through is an important thing. If we've got the simulator set up right here. Pretend like that's a car in front of you. Oh, okay. I'm going to be the guy in the drive through window. We just, the simulator's only so you can have a car in front of you. Oh, okay. That's it. That's all they need that okay. for. They want Very to be authentic. Well. Yeah. They want to be authentic as possible, so go ahead and, uh, Start the car. well, it's going to be running because you're in a drive-thru, oh, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, if it's taking that long, then you need to go to a different restaurant, <laughs> because if you have to turn off your car, that's way too long, so go ahead and uh, pull, put it in drive and pull on up. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, to it in drive. D. Yeah, take your foot off the brake. Oh, okay. There you go. Lightly press the gas. Lightly press the <laughs> brake. Raise the brake. Stop, stop. Hello. Welcome to McDonald's. That, this is my acting voice. Oh. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Well, I'm sorry. You're an incredible actor. That, uh, I mean, I... Uh, I'm just, please don't make me break character. Uh, this is very important. <laughs> no, the acting um, is just did you study at clown school? Well, I did. Juilliard clown school. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a new <laughs> branch. Well, new 20 years ago. Oh, no. um, so, let's continue, oh, please. Okay. 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 Uh, My name's Ted. What can I get for you? Uh, I'll take a pizza. Uh, okay, first of all, you're at McDonald's. <laughs> oh. All right. Did uh, I fail my driver's test? Yes. Trash. Amanda, don't feel bad. It's me, the Trash Fairy. Trash Fairy? Yes. What are you doing here? I'm here to help you clean up this world. You are? Mm -hmm. 
this we, so much. We have to sing our cleanup song in order for it to work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
if that's you know what, if that's really true, then I have a request. Could you make sure not everything closes at night? <laughs> Open and proud. Oh, the mic's working. The mic's working. That's, working. That's working. That's timely because we're going to need that mic, John, um, to yeah. do a game called Audience Sound Effects. This is a really easy game. Um, we're looking for one or maybe a couple of people that want to do sound effects for the next set of scenes. Okay, I'll do it. Yay! What's your name? It's real easy. What's your name? My name is Elena. <laughs> Off with kind of maybe a uh, setup scene so Elena knows how the game works. Yeah, sure. So let's get you warmed up, Elena. So I'm going to be doing a scene uh, currently, and uh, I'm going to do some different things. Uh, hopefully, it will be some cues. Uh, you follow me, and I'll follow you. Uh, and then maybe certain situations where we might need some sound effects. So let's say, uh, how about uh, I'm out, I'm hunting, okay? I got my shotgun with me. You ready? It's very squishy out here. <laughs> Oh, there goes the duck! Take a big chaw of that. 
Might help you. <laughs> oh, you really like that, don't you? I can tell you're from the South. All women chew in the South. How, how are you feeling? Sticky. <laughs> Sticky. All right. Well, let me show you something real quick. This is a picture of your ex. Uh, this is your x ray, a picture of the inside of your stomach. Let me turn that on. Hello. <laughs> is that a nice little warm, friendly tone there? Make you feel a little bit better when you're going to be delivered bad news. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Speaker announcement. So uh, you can see right here that uh, see that round spot that where your stomach's supposed to be. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh, it's right. You're a ventriloquist. Are you a ventriloquist too? Oh wow. <laughs> The good news is you're not going to die, but part of your stomach is missing right here. And uh, just like, uh, watch this. This is a great feature. Remember that game operation? Uh -huh. Watch what happens when I touch the belly. <laughs> is that cool? <laughs> is that cool? Will that happen to me? Well, we can try. <laughs> oh, it did! Wow, that's pretty cool. So this chewing tobacco, you put enough of that in there. You actually want to swallow the chewing tobacco. That's going to fill up the hole in your belly, and everything's going to be a little bit better. All right? Now hold on, I think you're all taken care of. Let me wait for my uh, announcement out music. Still waiting. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll do it myself. Hello, my darling. <laughs> because you're going to go right out. So we're going to okay. send these guys out of the room. Bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Get out of here. Okay, uh, so Blind Line works like this. Uh, this part they can hear, but we're going to wait until they leave to for the rest of it. Blind Line works a little something like this. I'm going to take a bunch of uh, suggestions from you guys, like lines of dialogue from movies, maybe your favorite lyric from a song, whatever. Uh, and I've got a couple lovely people uh, who are going to be writing this down for me on sheets of paper. So when these guys come back in, we're going to uh, put all the paper on the ground. Uh, they're going to start a scene. At any point in time during the scene, they're going to have to pick up one of these sheets of paper, read the line as if it's exactly what they meant to say. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, OK, cool. Uh, if it doesn't, if you don't get it now, uh, you'll get it later. If you don't get it then, you didn't really need it. So uh, that's OK. Uh, um, so let's start out. Uh, let's start out with something. Uh, how about uh, a saying somebody in your family used to always tell you, like when you were a kid? Like, uh, uh, what? Hell no. Hell no. There you go. Uh, anybody else? Like, you'll shoot your eye out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Soak it in the ditch. Soak it in the ditch. That's what you do when you have a wound. Go soak it in the ditch. I like that. I like that. Soak it in the ditch. Deader than a doornail. Well, I'm sorry. Deader than a doornail. Cool. If I'm going too fast, you guys, too, let me know. If you keep doing that, you'll go blind. If you keep doing that, you'll go blind. Time out washing dishes. I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, shut up or I'll give you something to cry about. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. Don't make me stop this car. Don't make me stop this car. Yeah, that's good. Mine didn't even say that. They would just whack me in the back. So. Um, okay, cool. So uh, let's move on to something different. How about some uh, like uh, favorite lines of dialogue from movies? You had me at hello. You had me at hello. You can't handle the truth. And you can't handle the truth. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I like that. I'm watching my uh, my lovely uh, helpers write, so I'm gonna go. So pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I heard. So I got that going for me. So I got that going for me. Uh, Play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sam. That's a good one. Awesome. Go ahead and make my day. Go ahead and make my day. Scarlet, I don't give a damn. Okay. Cool. Ooh, wow. Awesome. Yes. And then the, did you guys get those? And the Scarlet, I don't give a damn. Thank you, Scarlet. And uh, go ahead and make my day was the one before that if uh, I was going a little fast. All right, and then uh, how about uh, anything like your favorite lyric, favorite uh, line from a book, or something like that? If I was you, I'd want to be me too. <laughs> That's awesome. If I was you, I would want to be me too. Uh, anybody else? It was a dark and stormy night. It was a dark and stormy night. I just said, oops, I did it again. <laughs> um, oops, I did it again. 
Yeah. Yeah. About how many do we have, you guys? You think? Not enough. Call me Ishmael. Oh, that's a good one too. Call me Ishmael. We have about 15, you think, Terry? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Great. Give y'all yeah, yourselves a round of applause. That was awesome. All right. So uh, now we're going to get everybody back in here. They've been outside, so they couldn't hear anything you were saying. Uh, let's get everybody in here on the count of three by saying, hey, get in here. One, two, three. Hey, get in here. Yay. You can applaud for it. It's okay. So uh, we're going to get the scene started, um, and what I need from you guys is how about uh, <coughs> your favorite gift you ever got? Okay. Typewriter. Typewriter. All right. So uh, <laughs> the typewriter. You guys take several of these and put them in your pockets. I think at least five. Okay. Take at least five. We might have a few left over. There you go. Take as many of those as you want. We got plenty left over. All right, awesome. So uh, your suggestion is typewriter. Typewriter. All right, uh, you guys begin. Typewriter. Typewriter, begin. I'm really nervous about this class. Am I late? Yeah. 
yeah. I'm a secretary profession and move in, and that's why I'm kind of just like rekindling my love for typing. I know, <laughs> me too. I think it's a lost art. It's, it's like Carson Friday. Why don't you type? Like you don't type with your thumbs, you type with all your face. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, and I just didn't have anything to do on a Tuesday, and my baby daddy said, you need to get off the couch. And I said, hell no. <laughs> Okay. How deep is the ocean? 
the ocean is extremely deep. <laughs> <laughs> Really, isn't that? It's amazing. All the questions are being answered. Man, do you have a question? Um, why do baby boys pee in your face? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I've been asked this question myself. Yeah. Baby boys pee in faces because they are nice. <laughs>
obituary. Yeah. 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 Yay! Yay! Okay, and then what happened? 
Then my husband went to work. Okay, what's your husband's name? His name's Joey. Joey, Joey, okay. great name. And then I did a little Facebook surfing. Okay, yeah. oh, cool, cool. Yeah, it's Facebook. Okay, and then what else did you do after after you did a little Facebook stuff? Then I met my niece who was in town. She's a ring girl <coughs> at the fights today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she's very yeah. cute. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> How fun! Would you where'd you meet her at? At Starbucks. Okay. Starbucks was a thing tonight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys met at Starbucks, and then what did you do after you met? And what is her name? Her name's Cammy. Cammy. Okay, so we have Joey, your husband, and we have Cammy, your niece. Great. Okay. Uh, and then after you met with Cammy, where did you go? I went back home. Okay. And what did you do when you got there? Laundry. Okay. I'm was there anything excited. exciting about the laundry that, today? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Thank oh, goodness. We don't like exciting laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I only like exciting laundry. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 where did yeah. your grocery shop at? Safeway. Okay, you went to Safeway. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got your groceries. You then went back home. Mm -hmm. Do you okay. sell checkout? No. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> no. It's hard. It's hard. 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 Yeah. No, it's not me. <laughs> me, me. No yeah. self checkout. Yeah, right. no, I'm okay. not at it. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, so then you got home, uh, unloaded your groceries, and then what happened? Then I came here. And then you came here. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. So, a couple follow-up questions. Um, do you have any pets? I do. Uh, what do you have? I have a dog. And uh, his name's Stanley. Stanley. Stanley's the love of my life. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. What kind of dog is Stanley? And a cat. A, a schnauzer. A schnauzer. Okay. Okay. Uh, and a cat. Yeah. But the cat yeah. hasn't come home for a few days. I know. <laughs> oh, no. What's your cat's name? Franklin. Franklin, Franklin yeah. is missing. Stanley. Franklin. 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 Okay. And your husband's occupation, where do you go to work? He works at the school. The okay. school, okay. Okay, great. Any other questions, guys? On Saturdays? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. No, he has soccer on Saturday. Oh, He's a soccer gotcha. coach, yeah. Oh, gotcha. cool. That's oh, nice. That's nice. That's, That's the love of his life. Okay, <laughs> okay. So your husband, Kim, your niece, Stanley, your dog, and Franklin, your cat. Yes. Okay. I think, Ooh, we, got it. I think we got it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so now this is very important. We are going to reenact your day today. Okay. And if we get anything wrong, you're going to ring that bell. Okay. And we have to redo it. So make sure. You're not letting us get away with making your life look a lot different than what it actually does. Okay? okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, day in the life.
South Carolina. They've had a big day. Woo! Oh, yeah. Melons. Um, so we're going to do just a couple of quick games and, uh, and close things out. But just thank you guys so much for your yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Uh, like like Jennifer said, we're gonna do a couple games. The first game we're gonna uh, play is called World's Worst, and this is gonna be like the world's worst person or uh, something that happened in any given situation. Uh, so how about a, a place where uh, uh, people might gather or like uh, some type of event? Football game. Football game. World's worst person in a football game. Go Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> So can I get any type of product like a real? Something like that. works like this. 185 is your standard joke <laughs> format game. Uh, so uh, 185 blanks walk into a bar and order a beer and the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve blanks. And the blanks say, but um bum ching. You guys provide the uh, the line and we will provide the but um bum ching. Uh, so can I get uh, something from you guys? Like, uh, let's start off with something easy. Something that, fit, something that fit into a bread box besides bread. Cookies. 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 Thank you. Cookies. 185 uh, cookies walk into the bar, and the bartender says, I can't serve cookies in here. And the cookies say, Why do you got such a chip on your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> 185 
85 uncooked cookies walk into a bar and order a beer, and uh, the cookies go to pay for the beer, and they don't have any money, in the, and they all go, don't! <laughs> uh, 185 cookies walk into a bar, and the bartender says, I cannot serve you cookies here. And the cookies say, aw, oh, geez, it's the yeast you could do. <laughs> <laughs> Bar and the bartender says, uh, I'm not serving you cookies in here. And the cookies say, well, how about we give you some sugar? Oh, 185 cookies go into a bar, and they see a pretty girl, and she says, oh, I'll crumble for you. Uh, <laughs> 185 cookies go into a bar, and one of them accidentally smashes its thumb at the bar, and it goes, ah, oh, cookie sheet! Oh, cookie sheet! 185 cookies go into the bar, and the bartender says, ah! Oh, we clear cookies in here! <laughs> Internet, clear cookies. Yeah! Oh, All right, one last one. Uh, how about something funny in your junk drawer? Change. 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 Or, uh. Change. Okay, change. 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 Uh, 185 uh, dollars walk into a bar and the bartender <coughs> says, hey, what's up, Bill? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for the audience. Such a great audience. We want to get a selfie with you guys in the background. All right. Okay. So on the count of three, I want everybody to go, funny comedy. Thank <laughs> you.